Good morning everyone, it's Anne Sinclair from Digestive Detective. Today I am talking about the thyroid um, and, and I'm just today going to talk about what it is and where it is. Um, so the thyroid gland is um, located at the front of your neck, just under your Adam's apple. For women it's a bit harder to discern but it's just down here. Now it's a butterfly gland that, that um, uh, comes around your windpipe um, and the thyroid has a really important job in the body, especially around growth. Um, development and energy metabolism in the body um, so you know I know from personal experience with myself um, something's off when you're incredibly tired and, and you know your irons right but but um, your thyroid's not working properly um, you get just this fatigue anybody who's had um, a baby the first pregnancy that you ever had you get that really fatigue well thyroid's a bit like that um, so production of the thyroid hormone is um, driven by another hormone called um, thyroid stimulating hormone. So TSH is the marker that you get done when you go to the doctor. Now, um, TSH basically is not a very reliable test because it's not testing your active level of hormones. So the TSH is secreted from the pituitary gland um, in response um, from the hypothalamus that's in your brain. So it sends out a message that you need thyroid hormone and then it um, is secreted. Excuse me. Um, so for those things to happen, it needs iodine, tyrosine, zinc, selenium, uh, B2, B3, B6, and vitamin C uh, from our nutrition. Um, so all those things need to come from our nutrition so we can produce that um, thyroid hormone. Um, there's two primary thyroid hormones, um, T4, which is um, thyroxine. Uh, and the four just means that it's got four iodine atoms. So it's converted to T3, which is the active form of the um, uh, thyroid hormone. Uh, and T3 is triiodothionine. Um, that's a hard one to say first thing in the morning. So these hormones are transported around our blood to the tissues in the body where it's needed. Um, it plays a lot of roles in the body and some of the main ones I mentioned before are growth and development, um, and energy metabolism. Um, other processes that plays a part in our, our appetite stimulation um, and digestion breakdown of nutrients. And this is why I often get people with gut issues um, to have a full thyroid panel check because mostly um, they're not getting the right balance of nutrients. They're, they're, they might be having T4, um, but it's not converting to T3 and things like that. So um, that's always good to see. Um, it also increases our oxygen consumption, uh, raises our breathing rate and contraction strength. Um, and this also causes a rise in the, the body's heat production. So another real symptom that you have thyroid issues is that you're freezing cold or that you're, you're really sweaty hot when it's not really hot. Um, so if you have those things, that's always good to get checked. Um, deficiencies of the thyroid hormones can delay some of these processes and excessive, pro uh, excessive production can also cause um, uh, malignant accelerations in these body processes so it can go on to malignancy. The thyroid has an effect on every cell in our body uh, so it's if it's off slightly there'll be lots of symptoms. Um, so that's it for today. I just wanted to sort of give you a brief overview of what the thyroid does. Tomorrow I will talk to you about what you can expect if your thyroid's not working properly. Some of the signs and symptoms um, and I'll talk about overactive and underactive thyroid. So if you know anybody who is um, suffering some thyroid issues um, send them a, a tag and um, or pop their name in the box and, and let them see the video too. Um, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great day.